Ah, we just we just had our uh, our second loss, maybe about forty five minutes ago. Uh, I'll get into that later. We got another game battles match for you. Uh, this time it's on Bog. This is going to be the same team that uh, that we played. Um, that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the match on Crossfire first, first, and then this match. So I'll just jump right in the commentary. Uh, my job right there was to watch the left flank because in Dom, and I went over this, I uh, briefly discussed it before, but uh, in Dom, uh, on Bog, the the the, uh, the A spawn is is um. Man, I'm stuttering tonight. Got to gotta pick up the pace here. The A spawn is the dominant spawn. Um, if you can get the A flag and the B flag, it, it's not that difficult to trap them on uh, trap them on C. My job a minute ago was to watch the left flank to make sure he didn't run by me. And while I was chucking stuns and nades over the wall, he had already gone by. <laughs> so I completely failed. We ended up picking him off on the left. And now we're, now we're fighting for B. Uh, for this match, I'm using a gun that uh, was just recently pointed out to me. It's... It's a pretty underrated gun, actually. It's the the M4 carbine. Uh, in the match before this, I tried the AK-47 with the red dot, and um, I think that there's more recoil on on the on the AK-47 than there is on the on the M4. Uh, because I I could not kill anybody with the AK-47 red dot. Um, but when I was busting out the M4 on this match, you don't see it. You don't see it very often. And again, I mentioned this before in in game battles, you will mostly see either M16s or MP5s with either Juggernaut or stopping power. Uh, sometimes you will see the P90, and I'd say one out of ten teams will will snipe. And we're one of those teams that that does snipe. Chris or Beyond is sniping on this map, and he does a really really good job. Bog Bog is a really good map to snipe on because it's there's a lot of open territory. Uh, but I think Chris posted the most kills and had the best KD for this game, and he was sniping. And in a game battles, in a game battles match, it's pretty good to get to get a score like that with um to get a score like that with a sniper. So, okay, getting back to the commentary, we played uh we played a team before the the match that I posted um a few days ago on Block against Mom, Dad, and Two Kids. Uh, we played a Dom game against them, and they fucking floored us. And uh, the lesson that I took from that is that you have to be you have to be aggressive on this map. You have to push up a little bit. One of the guys on the team that I mentioned earlier uh, was in this spot here. This is the marketplace. I'm rushing up a little bit because I kind of want to cut them off. Here I'm crouching, waiting for them to spawn. And uh, take a shot, double back, take another shot, bail out of there, get get him, uh, go prone and reload. So I'm doing my job over here. I'm holding them off at spawn. Uh, but back there at the marketplace, he was pushed up there. And the way that they beat us is that they they, they found positions that had a really good map control. And then they basically just boxed us in. We were playing way too passive on this game. So this game, I remember that I took a lesson from, from a loss on that map. And I tried to apply it here. I tried to play more aggressive. Uh, without being too silly and like running up inside their spawn and doing all that stuff, keep a safe distance so the spawn doesn't switch towards A and box them in as 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 good as you can on C. One thing that you really have to be careful of is that left side over there. The left side on Bog, they will try and circle around that left side to go around for A, because any team will tell you that A is the dominant flag. So a lot of teams will try and circle around and grab that flag and force the spawn switch so that we would spawn on the C flag. Uh, but we didn't let that happen. They did grab A a couple times, as you can see. Uh, but we did a good job of um, of holding it down, picking them off. Uh, so there's a respawn delay, and then grabbing A. So it's a pretty close game so far. We're being dominated right now, actually. But we still got the A spawn, which is a good thing. Um, so I pick up the Barrett 50 cal as a secondary weapon, and I switch back to the M4. The M4 is a really good gun. Um, long range there's not a lot of recoil with it and uh, when you're playing people that are using M16s if they don't kill you on the first and second burst and you have a fully automatic gun that really does give you an advantage because you can sit there and hold the trigger and uh, like I said this this gun doesn't suffer from too much recoil so right now we're still just fighting for uh, fighting for map control getting a good position 
jump on the A flag and then jump off. But all three of us, we got three of us getting naded, and Chris is just trying to hold it down until we spawn back in. Uh, so now we're spawned back in, and we're getting stunned, and we're nading the mound to make sure that they don't get B. And that was a nice nade. Took out two people that were going for the flag. And now three of them are down. We're going to push up, improve our position. The tractor is a really good spot to play too. So they're spawning marketplace. This is a really easy spawn to trap them in. Uh, but now they've pushed to the right side, and I'm paying attention to that side to make sure that they don't, they don't get uh, they don't get any further. And from this point on, we do we do a really good job of keeping them in. Every once in a while, they they go through the left side marketplace and try and sneak in there. But scoreboard, um, he says he was roaming around most of the game. But every time that I called out, somebody was coming in on the left side. Him or Trump, I think it was mostly him, but I could be wrong. Did a good job of picking him off to make sure that he didn't circle around A. Um, so yeah, I like I like this gun, the M4. My M16 is man, <laughs> it's not that good. It's really not that good. I'm trying to get better with it, but uh, uh. I lowered my sensitivity recently to four in an attempt to have a more accurate shot with the M16. And that's helping a little bit, but I never really messed with this gun too much. And it shows. When you when you watch any gameplay of me using the M16, I really need to work on it. Um, so I decided that for this map, I would, I would bust out the M4. I'm um, using trip stuns, dead silence, and stopping power. I never use Juggernaut, and uh, it doesn't bug me when people use Juggernaut. When when somebody uses Juggernaut and you have a, and you have stopping power, the two perks balance themselves out. So if you're using an automatic like the M4, it's as if both of you don't have either stopping power or um, here I get a good snipe. Where is it? There it is. Nope. Did I miss it already? It's coming up here. I get a pretty good snipe. Um, so when you have two people that one person have juggernaut, one person have stopping power, the two perks are going to cancel each other out. And with an automatic, there it is. With an automatic like the M4, um, it's going to take three bullets. If both people have an M4, it's going to take three bullets each to kill the other person. So it evens out. If you're sniping, it can be annoying. That's one thing that I thought that this suffered. It was kind of a ga game breaking feature. Was was the addition of Juggernaut with regards to sniping. Because if you're playing a GB team and, and all of them are uh, all of them are, are using Juggernaut, you basically can't snipe. So you eliminate the usage of one class with a perk, which I think is, is not too balanced. And um, like in my opinion for Modern Warfare 2, I would be happy if they got rid of uh, stopping power and Juggernaut and just had a base at a base damage level, like everybody used stopping power essentially is what I'd be happy with. Unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen. Um, Call of Duty 2, on the other hand, all the submachine guns took either three or four bullets to take somebody out, while the sniper rifle came up in like less than a half second and it was almost always a one shot. So sniping in that game was extremely imbalanced. There was there was no reason to not apply yourself and get good with a sniper rifle. The MP44 was a good gun in that game too, but you had to learn how to use it. Um, so I thought they did a good job balancing out. Um, like if you're using an M40 A3 with a with a regular scope, you get considerably more hit mar hit markers there than you do in or in COD4 than you do in in Call of Duty 2, which I thought was good. It, it really does balance out sniping, um, and it places more of an emphasis on like a diverse kind of like people using more than one gun but <laughs> to replace the sniper rifle came the m16 for this game what are you gonna do i really gotta get better with that gun so as you can see we're having a really good we're having a really good game with these guys at this point at you know they probably stopped trying because the match is essentially over and uh uh, I just end up fucking around at the end here. And worse. Not before I take out a few guys. <laughs> I think Chris called it padding your score. It's what Halo players do when, uh, you know, when we got it clinched. So here's Chris. It's the benefits of the tactical setup right there is he missed a lot of knives. I <laughs> missed two knives on him. He doesn't even know what I'm doing. 
And then I think I take out Trump and Hamilton here too. So not a bad game. I was really happy with this game considering the ass raping that we took on Ambush and then we ended up pretty much stomping him the next two maps. The next match I will post after this one is a loss that we had and I'm going to be kind of posting that and analyzing it. I don't have a very good score in that. I went like 12 and 18 or something. And uh, I'm going to try and analyze it from my point of view and see what we could have done different in order to win the match. You guys have never seen me go negative in a gameplay or lose. so uh, And I had some requests for it. So it should be pretty interesting for you guys to watch. Okay, I'm out of here.